Most major floods in the Hawkesbury Nepean Valley begin with high rainfall during east coast lows. But why are floods here so large and deep? What makes this valley have one of the highest flood dangers in all Australia? Five major tributaries act like taps, pouring water into the valley during a flood. While every flood is different, the Warragamba River contributed up to 70% of the water in major floods that happened in the past 60 years. The other tributaries typically make smaller contributions. All this water needs to get to the sea, but natural choke points, where the river narrows, slows the flow in this valley. We call this the bathtub effect, where water backs up and starts filling the floodplain because there is only one plug hole letting water out. Because water is confined in this small valley at Wallachia, the worst flood here reached depths around 20 metres above normal river levels. Further downstream, the floodplain at Penrith and Emu Plains is created by the next choke point. Because Penrith has naturally high river banks, which hold the river back, low-lying areas around Emu Plains and Peachtree Creek are affected first. However, extreme floods in the past have reached as far east as Woodruff Street in Penrith, where the river was 12 metres above normal levels. Further downstream, the next choke point is caused by a series of gorges starting at Sackville. Because the Richmond-Windsor floodplain is relatively flat and wide, floodwaters spread quickly across a vast area. In the worst flood on record, here the river reached 19 metres above its normal level. Floodwaters back up into creeks in the valley and flood islands form as floodwaters rise. It's this bathtub effect that makes floods in the Hawkesbury Nepean so devastating. This is why it's important to respond when you're told to evacuate. The last major flood was in 1990. It will flood again in the Hawkesbury Nepean Valley. The risk is real. Do you know your flood risk? <laughs>